Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here at the birthplace of Elvis Presley. I'll stick around. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. cost eight bucks to go into the house and another eight bucks to do the museum so I just opted to do the house Elvis's birthplace and that's a tiny house he was doing tiny houses before tiny houses got popular I remember when I was a kid I thought it was really cool to have the orange flag on the back but I think the house like this is pretty darn cool. What do you know? Is the furniture original or no? It is. Oh, wow. You want proof? <laughs> no, I want this ticket right here. Oh, okay. Well, she didn't tell me what to give you. <laughs> what I'm telling you. <laughs> she, she was sarcastic in there. Of course, she called me sarcastic, too. So. <laughs> Boy, I'd have hated to build a fly on the wall up there then. <laughs> <laughs> is this original wallpaper? It's original to the house, original. but not to the Presley's. Okay. Okay. The Presley's had newspapers on the wall back then. Oh, it place? insulated very well. It was cheap and easy to get a hold of. And, that that something to read. Mm -hmm. and during the Depression, wallpaper was a luxury you could live without. Because he was born around 34? He's 35. 35. 35. January 8th of 35. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So is there anything special you're supposed to tell us about this room? Just that the house is original and it's only original site it was built. Okay. Two rooms, 450 square feet, no electricity, no running water. Pretty so cool. Where did Elvis sleep? In the bed with mom and daddy till he was three and then they got him a rollaway bed. Okay. Oh, that's but cool. in the same room? In the same room, yes. Oh, there weren't any more children. But see, they only lived in this house till Elvis was three. Oh, okay. Because his father forged a check and had to go to jail for eight months and they lost this house. Okay. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So Gladys and Elvis moved next door with the grandparents okay. and Vernon went to the big house. He went to jail. Eight months later, the same man that put him in jail went and testified at the first parole here and they got him out and brought him home. Because he felt sorry for Gladys and Elvis because he said they was going to starve to death. Mm -hmm. And back then, that was a good possibility. Mm -hmm. Women didn't get paid enough to support anything or rent a house or anything like that. So where did they live once Vernon got out of jail? They moved around eight different locations here in East Tupelo. The first place was right down here on Berry Street, mm -hmm. the next street down to the right. Mm -hmm. And he built this house, did you say? He did it? build it, but he borrowed the money to build it with. I see. Okay. And never paid the money back and lost it. Lost it, gotcha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Here, I'm going to give you one of my cards because I give one to everybody. I'm riding around the United States for one whole year on my motorcycle, uh -huh. raising awareness for diabetes in honor of my son. All the information on the back, and I would appreciate you go to the website and share it. I sure will. Thank you. I have diabetes too. Which uh, you have type two or type one? Type two. No, that's the refrigerator. That's the ice box. Yeah, it's called an ice box, not a refrigerator. Right. Yeah, but I mean, now I'm in the thing in the middle. That, side oh, in the middle is. that I don't know what that is, but what? yeah, that's not, the one that's in the middle with the milk box. Flour and meal bin. Okay. Flour and milk. And oh. no, in other words, they put the grains butter. in there and make the flour. Okay. With the meal. Out, I suppose, that yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What was your name, ma'am? Nina. 
Nina, thank you very much. Well, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. My name's Rex Covington. Glad to meet you, Rex. Nice to meet you. Thanks for uh, letting me take a look around. Okay. All right, I appreciate it, ma'am. Thank you, and have a great afternoon. I certainly will. That's pretty cool. And it's a tiny house. Oh, excuse me? Oh no, I don't mind at all. If you do the same for me. For sure. Because I was sitting there going like this. I know, I was trying, I was like, oh, kind of in Wait, here. Is that a GoPro you have on? Yeah, it is. Very cool. All right. One, two, and I'm going to step over here and do it real quick. 